But here we are, man. I'm listening to some Danheim music because shout out to Danheim. Check him out. And we are playing Iceland and Kaiser Redux, man. With an amazing 000 economy. In 1874, Iceland had its first taste of independence when Denmark granted the yeah. colony the right to home rule and a constitution. Um, as a part of Denmark, Iceland remained neutral throughout the Weltkrieg. After the conclusion of the Weltkrieg, Iceland joined the Middle Europa Economic Bloc alongside its master, Denmark. This brought a period of prosperity to the island nation. The British market continued its lucrative fish imports from Iceland due to the distance between the two islands. Meanwhile, the entry of Icelandic cod into the European market became a source of smaller additional funds. So we're all about fish. We're all about However, fish. this economic prosperity will not last forever. The British Revolution of 25 shattered the miracle that post Baltic Iceland was experiencing. I cannot trade my fish anymore. How are we going to get our first sifts? I have the Danish Icelandic personal union. I have a shit economy. The collapse of the British Empire was bad to us because I can't trade fish anymore. I have the city working scheme, which gives me five construction speed on zero steps. And I have the Gutus Lagurinda Riot. Black Monday hits Iceland. Oh no. So the waves of Black Monday have crashed into Iceland's shores. Our cod exports to, to uh, literally only um, based on uh, exporting cod. The plebs of 1946, the time has come to vote over the constitution of Danish rule. Uh, we're gonna push for an independent Iceland. I need to get free from Denmark. Dependent victory, man. The recent victory of the vote for independence from Denmark was easy. The All Tingi, what? Has been a rush of ministers declaring for one party or the other. The one constant in an upswing in the, me is the, in the members who are part of the independence party. Icelandic independence, that was easy, man. The small Danic island of Iceland has long been ruled by the kings of Denmark. <laughs> Coming under control of 40 years ago, but recent events put the state of affairs at risk. With Black Monday and the Danish government struggle to respond to the crisis, calls for independence continue to grow louder and louder until Iceland called itself independent. And it Promise relief, tense stability, public radio addresses, massive PP instability. That sounds really good. Let's do that. In these times of crisis, the government and the prime minister should just not be locked in a back room working and planning. The prime minister shall take to the radio to allay the fears of the 10 people living in Iceland. Packing the barrels. A crucial part of the export business is the packing of barrels to fish to send aboard. We must invest in better infrastructure to pack these fishes. Okay, we got some shit here. Civil expansion effort. Nice, guys, we're getting stuff. Ooh. I will need a lot of PP here. Okay, encourage charitable acts. But man, I'm already getting my first sift. Look at that. Request a Danish bailout. All the aid and investment we have made it made in the economy and our people have stretched our budget to the limit. We must ask Denmark for some money. Fuck will please send YouTube money. He has a delusion that I fuck Jesus. him over. Denmark is not relieving me. Wow, man. How cold you, Denmark? Let's make a hydro power plant, man. Is that actually good? You get one sieve and a grand opening. It's not that crazy. It's cool how you use manpower to build something. You lose 1,000 men that built the dam and then they come back. It's really cool. Okay, here we go. Fishing industry. This Our fishermen are wandering further than ever to fish and wish to go beyond our territorial waters. We should start. We should look into making agreements of other countries to start ignoring our second world playing China. We're just going to ignore all treaties and just fish everywhere. Expansion of Vestmania. As the fishing industry grows, so too do towns that support such businesses. While the harbor is too shallow for larger, more modern vessels, the coastal town of Heimei remains a crucial part of the cod fishing industry that is run off the southern coast of Iceland. Already efforts are on the way to make the city bigger. Geysir, Geysir, Geysir donation. A gay man donated to us? But there we go. Britain is getting mad at me. I'm expanding into their waters. We should expand our fishing waters southwards and make the British mad. And yeah, they put the Assassin's Creed Valhalla pictures in here. Whoever did this actually gave a shit, man. I fucking love stuff like that. These pictures are very nicely chosen. Look at that. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, man. Oh, this looks a bit like a Hitler's wet dream here. Holy shit. New world type of Borea. The Saga of the Whites. Shit, is that actually trying to make the whole world just white? I might get banned off Twitch. I might have to go over the middle. <laughs> Elaborate on a new source of power. We're getting these new power plants. Monday, guys. Now I can do the fishing stuff. Here we go. And these two should lead to war of the UK. So here we go. By sucking English dick, the Vikings in Iceland get mad. That's what's going on. But for a recent change in policy, our fishermen now have a much larger area to troll fish from. This is expected to increase our haul by large margins. To that end, our merchants have already started to look towards our old trade partners, the British Empire. Perhaps it'd be best to fully placate the Empire or the Syndicalists. Second one? I cr oh, okay, I, I trust you. Every time I say I trust you to chat, I, I know I'm gonna be in trouble. Prevent the Cod War. As Iceland begins to expand her fishing waters, it is becoming increasingly clear that such actions may lead to an all-out war. 
Why Canada or the Union of Britain would fight over nothing but fishing rights is something out of a mystery. But perhaps such a war can be avoided. If Iceland were to fully bend to either Canada or Britain, there may be there may be chance to prevent a war. To this effect, a group of seemingly other worldly figures have gathered and planned to push Iceland one way or the other to prevent conflict of any kind. As the clock ticks, seemingly turning 10 times faster than an early clock, the group makes this decision. We move to push Iceland to embrace syndicalism under British tutelage. I need to do this. I need to do this. We're, we're skipping the cod we're here, which he did. Yeah, I need to do number one. So I now sucked massive English dick. And now the Vikings get mad. The beat dropped at the right time. The gods are with us. Odin! Odin! It seems our socialist popular government wasn't as popular as we thought. Almost unexpectedly, a group of nationalists have begun to take power. And they have beards and weird tattoos. All across the island, nationalist militias are moving into important areas. And in Reykjavik, much of the city has become a battleground. While much of the lower levels of government have temporarily relocated, most of the top government officials remain in the city despite the danger. As civilians scurry for cover and more fighting men pour into the cities, it's anybody's guess who will come out on top. Hmm, Antifa or wi literal Vikings? I wonder who's gonna win that, guys. The socialist poison gets cut out. The Alpingi. We are the Vikings. Here we fucking go. Did I get a. I go Whoa! Yo, the fucking elite veterans? We're gonna take back our fishing waters and the great lands. Of Nordic culture shall return. Tell me, I have another recruitment drive. I got a shit ton of manpower forever. Now with the Vikings back, raiding has started again in the Northern Atlantic. And we're bringing home gold and beautiful bitches, man. Yeah, I gotta boost this weekly change of stability, man. So I slowly go towards unstability. Public work project. We'll create large-scale jobs for those who are unemployed. That sounds good. I probably should do that so I get rid of the debuff. There's a debuff that occasionally cuts off your stability. Because people are unemployed. You probably should take care of that. Let's do that. We could open a hydroelectric plant. I should probably do that in three, two, one. Nice. These events are cool. The, the, the developer did a great job here because he gives the player the option that every time the player is 75 PP, he gets one sieve. So I said actually has a chance to build something up and not just stay on one sieve the whole game. So subsidized urban and we're getting employed. Public works and no more debuffs from that shit. The home nation secure independence. That is such a different event. Restoring Welsh independence is nothing less than a revolution. It is only for revolutionary means that we can succeed, said Saunders Levis. So we did all the economy focuses. The boring part is over, chat. We're going fucking in. We're going to fucking Falkolde was the German code name for the nationalist coup against the socialists. The nationalists with generous German leadership and equipment have managed to pull it off too. Now, however, the nationalists lay in uncharted waters almost literally. They are newly minted politicians as the head of the new nation and a coalition just as likely to tear itself apart rather than elect a new leader. Okay, here we go, man. Let's become Viking. Today, we have received a message from our backers in Berlin. They have congratulated us wholeheartedly to our victory. They have also taken the time to remind us of our promises to bring Iceland further into the Reichspakt. While the German guns are valuable and even more, we're sent with this message. Already resentment is building against Berlin. We are barely adopted the guns. I was born with them. Molded by them. Uh, oh, get infinite equipment from Germany and join the Reichspakt. Man, we're Viking. We join nobody, man. The blessed war. The gathering of the nationalist Alting. Despite our recent victory, there's still much to be done in regards to the socialist poison. While they are out of power, the English and their socialist puppets have retreated into the countryside to resist our takeover. So, let's get these guns early, because again, I only have infantry, the only thing I should focus on. Cutting the tape of the new factory, nice! We're building these factories, boys! <coughs> the best war, ooh. Eldor Bjornsson. Okay, we're getting to the spicy uh, focuses, man. Okay. With the constant low broiling tumult that has kept Iceland wrestled since our takeover, the nationalist grip has been left strong, but not as strong as it should be. That is why, at the all thing, it has been proposed that the various factions of the nationalists put aside their petty differences and unite into a single party. 
With our resources pulled together, we could finally stamp out what last resistance to our rule remains. And finally, get ready building the great heathen army, man. Today, Bjorn Bjornsen has declared himself the new president, as the closing arguments in the old thing are read out. After weeks of tense deliberation, Bjorn's faction has emerged as a clear winner. A political ineptitude of the moderates and radicalism of the right has seemingly left him the only real choice. In his first speech of the old thing, Bjornsson painted a picture of a strong and independent Iceland bound to Germany, not by force like Iceland was bound to Copenhagen, but by choice. Not only that, but he was promised that all Icelanders will get an X and be able to raid again. No. So, dealing with the Astandi. What the fuck is the Astandi? Angloloids. Oh, we're gonna fuck up the Englishmen. Okay, dealing with the Angloids. When the socialists held, held power, they allowed British soldiers onto the Holy Iceland. What? What? These degenerate limeys. These degenerate limeys, man. <laughs> uh, then forced themselves onto the pure-hearted Icelandic women and spot many mongrel half-breeds have become a problem in our new nation. Put them all against the wall. Oh my fucking god. Dear Twitch admin, the only reason I'm gonna put them all against the wall is that I'm trying to get the 5% stability bonus. There is no political thinking affiliation. Ah, Dora Blood to make Tor proud. The Torah blood of all were wild affairs full of parties, orgies. Do we bring back orgies? The Torah blood traditional Icelandic midwinter fest with roots like many of our festivals dating back to the time immemorial. As the rightists and their ideals seep further into Icelandic society, the Bolot, whose activities have long ago deviated from the wild parties, orgies, and sacrifice of yore, once again have rumored to return to the old ways. Uh, while major cities have kept the blood, civilized reports have begun to filter in from the countryside that in some instances these festivals have gotten out of control. Yeah. Some reports have even said that the government itself gathers for its own Sora blood and they have... Dude, a government doing orgies and killing people and sacrificing people, that's very normal, right? Am I right, USA, right? These reports have been countered by the government. Uh, no, no, no. And if you say anything else, you're gonna hang yourself in prison, okay? Man, Icelandic legions. I get some nice little bonuses. On my army. If I cannot beat Scottish ships, I can't do shit. You don't have ships, right? Bitch, you have one ship? Fuck. Naval expansion effort. I need to do these efforts more, huh? Yeah. Uh, the rise of the Icelandic legions. The Icelandic army does not and has never existed. Instead, we have the national police, but they are no match for even a half-baked militia. To an extent, such a situation is understandable. Iceland had been far from any potential threats for its entire history. There was no need for an army much less a large one. However, times have changed. The First World War showed just how generalized a local war can become, and the coming Second World War promises to be even more severe than the first. Who's to say the damned socialists won't try to fuck with us? It's time to forge an army from cold steel. Heil the Altshayagodi. The old people chief tames the man traditionally a descendant of the first settler in Iceland, Ingolf Arnason. Ingolf Arnason was the first guy in Iceland? Who will sanctify the opening of the old thing? The position was abolished with the old thing in the 1200s. Mm -hmm. I have a me. I have a me selling factory, guys. And it's killing my whole economy. <laughs> a new raiding fleet. Holy shit, man. In order to reclaim our far lands across the sea, we're going to need a fleet to get there. No matter if we set sail for the new world or for Norway, we must have a new raiding party to carry us to the shores of our enemies. So we shall undergo a massive shipbuilding initiative. In order to build an armada we need. From traditional longships, updated and refitted to compete with modern patrol boats and other small craft, to cruiser and submarines of our own, we will build a fleet to rival the great powers themselves. For now, even the raging melts from off the oceans cannot keep us from our destiny. Holy shit, that's actually a good fleet. Viking raiding. Loki, Odin, Emir. E Whoa, that's sick, man. It's the Great Northern Armada. This is fucking sick, man. The first settlers of a far isle were Norwegians. For many years, we were dependent on Norway. And finally, in 1262, our nations were forced into being one. While we are Icelanders and proud of it, we all have a deep root in Norway. It's time to go over there. So I gained the course on them, and they stay forever. I'm even called Norway now. But I think it's better to start with something like Ireland, you know? I think it's much more clever to do this move, you know? And I want to justify... That's gonna be hard, man. Let's make small moves. In the centuries past, the very term Northmen brought visions of strength and vigor. All through Europe, we were known, and more importantly, we were feared. Now, however, we are barely even taught off by the major powers brushed aside like so many bucks on the street well we have finally rediscovered our ancient strength and we're ready 
to bring the Northmen back. Conquering our fate. Ooh. Oh, we get war goals and everyone. That's sick. Skirgurok there. Despite challenges many deemed impossible, we have achieved the impossible and achieved our goal of a Nordic nation. We stand proud and strong, paying tribute to our illustrious past while also looking towards the future. To this end, our allegiance shall march forth and bring Scandinavia into our fold. Okay, so the goal is to unite Scandinavia. That's gonna be hard, man. It's gonna be no joke. I'm, this is gonna be no joke. Okay, let's try Ireland first. This is gonna be no joke. These are elites. Six in Dublin. We're going all in on this stuff. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, scheisse. This needs to work. This needs to work. This needs to work, man. That's really heavy. Gentlemen, we're back to Iceland, man. Let's fix this. Let's go full Viking on this shit. You gotta go to Norway because they have the course. You can't go to England. My goal would be to take all of Scandinavia. Okay, let's get information about Norway. He's alone as we want it. He is standing on a good economy. He is standing on a shit ton of divisions. Fucking hell. I thought Norway is gonna be no joke. I feel like the more time goes by, the more Norway runs away from me because he just has so much more on me. Okay, let's go. Come on. Ah, I'm so nervous about Norway here, guys. Suck, guys. Oh, this is gonna suck so much peace. I can sleep at night. Oh, fuck. I'm out. Guys, fuck this. Fine. I'll do it myself.
Congratulations, brother. You've seen this video till the end. Good job. Why not just click this video then now? You're over here anyway. Just click it.